Hi guys, we are from Group 1 and going to present you the type of gas turbine power plant the typical diagram and also we're going to explain about how this power plant is going to work. First of all, let's take a look at the diagram. We see that in the gas turbine power plant, it has a few important components which are the compressor, the gas turbine and the synchronous generator. There is a few valve to control the speed, a tunnel for air to flow in the compressor, a chamber for compression and also a tunnel for exhaust emission later. So how does it work? At first, the compressor will draw air into the engine, pressurize it, and feeds it into the combustion chamber at speed of hundreds of miles per hour. The combustion system is typically made up of a ring of fuel injectors that inject a steady stream of fuel into combustion chambers when it mixes with the gas. The air, the air mixture is burned at a temperature of more than 2000 degrees the combustion produces a high temperature, high pressure gas stream that enters and expands through the turbine section. The turbine is an intricate array of alternate, stationary, and rotating aerofoil section blades. As hot combustion gas expands through the turbine, it spins the rotating blades. The rotating blades perform a dual function. They drive the compressor to draw more pressurized air into the combustion section and they spin a generator to produce electricity. We'll show you a video about working principle of gas turbine, then you will see, uh, you'll be more clear about what I've told you just now. <sighs> Air, a lot of gaseous molecules floating all around us. It's great for breathing, and it turns out it's great for getting lights turned on. That's because air, along with abundant natural gas or other fuels, are the ingredients that combine in a gas turbine to spin the generator that produces electric current. If you follow the electricity you use at home or at work back through the power lines to your local power plant, you'll see that the process most likely starts with the work of the gas turbine, the very heart of the power plant. First, air is drawn in through one end of the turbine. In the compressor section of the turbine, all those air molecules are squeezed together, similar to a bicycle pump squeezing air into a tire. As the air is squeezed, it gets hotter and the pressure increases. Next, fuel is injected into the combustor where it mixes with the hot compressed air and is burned. This is chemical energy at work. Essentially, this is what happens in your family car's engine, but at about 2,900 times more horsepower. Actually, it's exactly like the turbine engines on jet airplanes. The hot gas created from the ignited mixture moves through the turbine blades, forcing them to spin at more than 3,000 RPMs. Chemical energy has now been converted into mechanical energy. The turbine then captures energy from the expanding gas, which causes the drive shaft, which is connected to the generator, to rotate. That generator has a large magnet surrounded by coils of copper wire. When that magnet gets rotating fast, it creates a powerful magnetic field that lines up electrons around the coils and causes them to move. The rotating mechanical energy has now been converted into electrical energy because the movement of electrons through a wire is electricity. In what's called a combined cycle power plant, the gas turbine can be used in combination with a steam turbine to generate 50% more power. The hot exhaust generated from the gas turbine is used to create steam and a boiler, which then spins the steam turbine blades with their own drive shaft that turns the generator. What you end up with is the most efficient system for converting fuel into energy. And that's your GE Gas Turbine 101. So basically, there are two types of gas turbine power plant. One is the open cycle gas turbine power plant, and another one is closed cycle, of course. In the open cycle gas turbine, air is drawn into the compressor from the atmosphere. The compressed air is heated by using the burner. The air must be burned directly in the combustion chamber. The fuel in the air inside maintains a constant pressure. From the combustion chamber, the high pressure hot gases drive the, the turbine. The power must be delivered when the turbine shaft rotates. 
There is no self starting in the gas turbines. The starting motor drives the compressor till the fuel is injected in the combustion chamber. If the turbine fries gain speed, then the starting motor is disconnected. The power established by the gas turbine is used to initiate the compressor and remaining is used to initiate the other machinery or generator. In the open cycle of gas turbine, the system and the working fluids are replaced continuously and gases are drained from the atmosphere. Then the total flow derives from the atmosphere and again returns to the surrounding. This is the open cycle gas turbine system. As you can see that, the open cycle will draw the air from the atmosphere into the compressor. Now let's see the other type of gas turbine which is the closed cycle. According to the closed cycle gas turbine, the compressed air from the surrounding is heated by using the heat exchanger. At constant pressure from the external source, the heat is additional given to the heat exchanger. High pressure working fluid increases over the turbine and then the power is developed. The exhaust working fluid must be cooled in the grid cooler. The same fluid is sent into the compressor before the process is done. In the turbine, the same working fluid is always distributed. From an external source, the fuel is required to add more heat energy, so the fuel ranges from kerosene and then to the heavy oil. Straightly, the fertilizer and pole slurry enter the turbine without reducing the efficiency. As you can see that, the closed cycle is like a closed loop system which added heat exchanger after the turbine. This heat exchanger will collect the exhaust gas from the turbine and return it to the compressor again with the heat of fluid in lower pressure and temperature. That's all from us and thank you for your attention.